Hello, I'm Ganesh Bhadar and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a piece of key project to measure a manual of signal using the piece of key for IDE. So let's start by creating a new project. Name this as ADC underscore LCD. Click OK. So this is the schematic editor where we are going to create a schematic representation of the device that we are going to create. On the left side you see the workspace explorer that is going to show you all the files associated in the project. On the right side we have the component catalog. We are going to select the peripherals that we need from this catalog. Let's start by dragging and dropping a Delta Sigma ADC onto the schematic sheet. I zoom in to the ADC. Double click to configure. Let's rename this ADC. We set the power to the default medium power. Conversion mode is continuous. Resolution is 16 bits. I set the conversion rate to 5 kilo samples per second. The startup conversion is going to be software. The class score is internal. Let us measure a plus or minus 1.024 volt around a VDD by 2 analog ground. So I'm going to select 0 plus or minus 1.024 volt differential as the input range. The reference is going to be internal VREF and we set the input buffer gain to 1. Click OK. Now we need a couple of unlock pins to bring in the inverting and non-inverting inputs to the ADC. So I drag and drop the analog pins and connect them to the ADC's input. Double click on pin 1 and rename this as the in P. Double click on pin 2 and rename this as the in N. Okay. Now we need a LCD to display the results. So I'm going to drag and drop a character LCD onto the schematic sheet. Double click and rename this to LCD. To bring out the VDD by 2 analog ground to an external pin, let us start by placing an op amp and configuring it as a follower and uh, set the power to medium power. I rename this to op amp. Click OK. Now, from the system category, drag and drop the VREF component. Name this as A ground and select VDD A by 2 as the reference. Click OK. Now we need an analog pin to bring out this analog ground. So I drag and drop an analog pin. Flip this by 180 degrees using the flip horizontal icon and then connect it to the output of the op amp. I rename this as a ground out. Click OK. And now we are done with the device configuration. We have an ADC that has an inverting and non-inverting input, a character LCD to display the results, and an op amp to bring out the VDD by 2 analog ground. So next let us configure the pins by clicking the ADC LCD CYDWR file. This opens the pin configuration window. On the right side you see a list of pins that have been placed in the schematic. We can assign the port pins by using these uh, pull down menus. On the left you see the pin map of the device that we have selected for the project. I'm going to assign P02 for the positive input, P03 for the negative input. The development kit that we are going to use is, has the LCD connected to port 2, so I'm going to assign port 2 for the LCD and P00 for the analog ground output. So now that we have the device configured and all the pins configured, we need to write some code to start all the resources, read the ADC, convert it into a voltage and display it in LCD. I'm going to use 
the pre-written code I'm going to copy it and paste it let's see let's briefly look at the code this is an integer variable that is going to store the ADC result this is a float variable that is going to store the converted voltage in float I have uh, defined a character string which will be used by the S printf function to convert the integer and float into ASCII string and store it in RAM and we will be printing to the LCD from this string next we start the ADC and start the ADC conversion initialize the LCD and start the op amp to bring out the two points the VDD by 2 analog ground to the XML pin so inside this infinite loop we check if the ADC result is available and if the result is available we read the result into the integer variable and then we convert this integer variable into a ASCII string and display it on the second line of the LCD then we convert the integer result into voltage by using this formula and then convert this float value into an ASCII string and display that value on the first line of the LCD so now that we have the program ready let's build the project Now the project is built, we need to program this onto the development board. Let us first set up the development board. This is the CY86 development board using which we are going to test the program. This is a mini prop tree using which we are going to download the code to the process module. This is the LCD that we are going to use to display the results. We are going to generate the input voltage using this potential matrix here. I have set up this breadboard area to bring out the analog ground and connect the input signal to the PSOC3 pins and also to connect a multimeter using this couple of wires. Using this multimeter, we are going to compare the results of the project and the actual input voltage. Before we can start programming, let us power the board. Now that the develop bo development board is set up and powered, let us click on the program icon to program the device. The device is programmed and we can see the project executing on the development board. Press the reset button to start the program execution. The first line of the LCD displays the actual input voltage and the second line displays the ADC count. Now let us compare the value that is being displayed on the multimeter which is the actual input and the value that is being displayed on the LCD which is our measured value.